Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mattel Jurassic World Dominion review. After taking a massive dump on the Legacy Collection Cosmoceratops, let's get back into a more positive mood and take a look at this awesome looking massive action Quetzalcoatlus. The Quetz is finally making its Jurassic debut in Dominion. If you haven't seen the trailer already, the thing looks pretty impressive. And I think this toy is pretty faithful looking to what we're going to see in theaters come June 10th. Now this figure retails for $20. I end up finding it at Target. Collectors will find them at Target and Walmart with varying degrees of success. Uh, what's today? Today's uh, Wednesday that I'm recording this review, you know, a few days after the toys came out. I had a few Targets today and some of them just did not have stuff set up. Other ones I went to full-blown, end cap, giant Jurassic displays. Uh, Walmart in my area has been absolutely abysmal. Barely found any anything other than like the dino packs and a couple of the... Uh, uh, ferocious packs, but really not much going on at the Walmarts in my area. So everyone that's hunting these toys, if you haven't found anything yet, I wish you the best of luck. I hope everyone can get their hands on what they're looking for. I'll also leave a link down below to Target and Amazon if you want to order this figure online. You know, save yourself the uh, gas money driving around hunting these things because gas prices suck right now. So let's go over the package really quick before we crack this winged beast open. Jurassic World Dominion logo down the corner. There's Rexy in the back. We got the helicopter chasing Rexy over the power lines. We got a picture of how the massive, massive action works on this Quetz. Turning it around. Get a nice picture of its wing. Was it total wing flap in action? At least it's total. I, I hate it when it's incomplete wing flap in action. And down here is the other figure available in this wave, the previously reviewed Ying Chuanosaurus. So that will do it for the packaging. Let's crack this figure open and take a closer look. And let's start with a 360 degree view of this figure. I love the paint apps on here. Look how nice a figure can look. If you actually put like a smidge of effort into it, now the figure looks pretty accurate to the couple quick glimpses we got in the Dominion trailer. The head is decked out in black, orange, and bright blue paint. Main body is just a light gray color. And there are three different paint apps just on the wings alone. Mattel must have blew their whole budget paint in this figure. And it, it looks great. I really like this. I'm really impressed with the uh, massive action figures. They, they definitely turn out to be some of the best figures uh, in the main line with this first round of Dominion figures. Uh, this figure does look very similar to the older Dino Rivals Quetzalcoatlus, but I compare both figures, which I'll do a little bit later on in the review. Uh, this new Quetz is 100% a new mold. Even the wings are newly sculpted, so kudos to Mattel for making a brand new sculpt. I think this figure turned out absolutely fantastic and a couple clever uh features with the action uh on here which we'll also get to a little bit later on in the review and now for some quick measurements this figure is about 13 inches long from the tip of the feet to the tip of the beak and if you measure the wingspan that is 17 inches so quetzalcoatlus in real life had a wingspan between 33 and 36 feet long so i'll put this figure somewhere in the 123 to the 125 scale range and now let's zoom in and take a look at this really really nice head sculpt love everything about this figure uh, i really have no complaints about it love the paint apps on the head the whole head up right up to the tip of the beak is just covered in black paint they have splashes of orange and some orange around the orbit the eye is painted in green with a black pupil and you have this nice vivid blue on the head crest you have a little bit of uh feathering or, or, or pink no fibers whatever the hell they're called uh that's all decked out in a nice black paint before it transitions into all this nice gray fuzzy uh plastic so yeah, really love, love how the head sculpt came out on here. You can see the nostrils up here, uh, opening up the mouth. You can see you got some nice details on the roof and the tongue all decked out in that glossy pink uh, paint. You know, one thing with these uh, large Pterosaur figures, they're kind of a pain in the butt to review because they're so uh, you know flimsy with their long wings and everything. And then going down to the neck, you have more of that black paint. Uh, underside is all done in light gray uh, i i don't know if it's a uh, sloppy paint but like i have all these blotches down here i don't know if, it, if if that's intentional or whatnot or if the machine just went a little crazy when it was painting this figure but uh i really don't mind it it's not bothering me looking at the top you can see a nice fuzzy coat all over the body on this figure the feet 
are nicely sculpted. And let's take a look at the wings. The wings came out absolutely fantastic. Like I said, three paint apps on these wings. We just unfold them. You got dark brown, and then it transitions into this lighter brown. And then right here, it goes into this nice peach coloration. And that is a lot of paint apps for a Mattel figure. Like I said, they probably blew their budget on here. Uh, the hand claws are nicely done. They're not painted in. And then let's go down to the feet. Feet are also nicely sculpted. Let's make sure the camera focuses in on that. It's like a very weirdly proportioned figure. But yeah, I really, really dig this thing. Let's zoom out just a little bit and expand those wings. So yeah, really, really neat looking figure. The underside of the wings are not painted. It is gray, but you know, like I said, I got a couple splashes of uh, like some paint apps underneath there, but really not a big deal. So let's move on to articulation. There's really not much on this figure because it's all, most of it's tied to the action feature. So you do actually get some neck articulation. So you can get some up and down. So you get some nice neck and action with the figure. And fun fact, that's something I will not be receiving when Dominion comes out because it comes out beyond me and my wife's uh, wedding anniversary. And uh, she's not too happy. That's what we got to do. Things are looking dry around here. And then going down to the feet, the legs can move down and up. And that is it for articulation. The rest of it is tied to the action feature. And before I forget, let's break this thing's back open. Here is the scan code for those of you who want to scan this into the fax app. And let's close this up. So the first button right here will activate its total wing action, not partial. Not halfway, total wing action. She just hold down that button and the wings will flop up and down. And then a clever feature with the action, you actually have, let's shut the wings for this. You actually have another button underneath the chest because you know you have this part built in for that DNA code, which can hamper the, uh, the action features. This one actually controls the beak and that's pretty clever, really like it all around. Just a super, super fun figure to mess around with. Moving on with comparisons, here it is with Roland Tempo. It's the only human figure I currently have within like arm's reach of the studio right now. And next up, let's take out the old Dino uh, Rivals Quetzalcoatl. As you can see, you know they are very similar proportions. Uh, like I said, it's a pain in the butt to maneuver these figures around. Uh, but the head sculpt on this Dominion one is absolutely fantastic i did like the dino rivals one and it turned out to be quite a rare figure so it's nice that we have this far superior one out there so people can add a quetzalcoatl uh to their collection and this one has definitely much more sculpting of uh you know feathers on it looking at this one not really it's mostly folds and wrinkles but when you get down to the body there is a little bit of that fuzzy coating even on the wings right here this one's definitely much more brightly colored but you can see it is 100 percent uh, a new sculpt versus this one right here. And next up, let's take out uh, Dr. McPoopoo Pants, the uh, Legacy Cosmoceratops. And let's do some hammock collection figures. Here is the amazing Baryonyx, and here is the Velociraptor. Be really interesting to see if we actually get any pterosaurs in the hammock collection. It looks like Mattel really actually wants that line to succeed, uh, as opposed to the uh, Amber collection, we already have a bunch of new species listed that are coming out uh, over the next few months. So hopefully we see some pterosaurs show up in the Hammond collection. And why not, because it's right over here. Here is the small Conotaurus that came with the Owen uh, escape pack. And here it is one of the Atrociraptors. I think this one is uh, Jimmy. And here is its massive action wave mate the yang chuanosaurus so yeah i really really like this uh first round of massive action figures i'm really looking forward uh to the other ones coming out i think we we have a light pleuridon and an impelosaurus uh, some kind of sauropod that i completely can't pronounce right now so yeah uh massive action is really looking like a super fun line in dominion and here's your obligatory rexy comparison so final thoughts on this new Quetzalcoatl is definitely superior to the original Dino Rivals one. This one sports a nice movie accurate color scheme. The whole figure is completely remolded and the paint apps are really thought out and well applied. I really, really like this figure. Like I said, uh, Massive Action has been a surprise hit with me just you know the action features are fun uh really clever how they put the button underneath the chest you know even to accommodate with this uh, stupid dna code on the back and it's just a really fun figure so i do highly recommend it
like I said at the beginning of the review, you can find this figure at Target and uh, Walmart. People, you know, it's still early in the hunt. Uh, a lot of varying success out there, uh, what everyone's finding. But I'll leave links down below to uh, Target and Amazon if you want to order this figure online. So that will do it for the review. I'm slowly getting through my pile of Dominion stuff. I think, uh, look at behind me right now. I think I got like five or six other figures to review and then uh, we should be all done. And by the time I get done with that, maybe some Wave 2 stuff will finally be uh, showing up. So as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.